So good evening friends, meeting again with the organ of medicine and we were discussing the concluding part of the drug proving. Yesterday's lecture, we have discussed few aspects about the drug proving and where he mentions one of the important thing that if the physician himself proves a remedy, it will be better for the homeopathy because he is the person who knows the importance of each and everything in the field of homeopathy. He knows the importance of location. He knows the importance of sensations. He knows the importance of the modalities, the concomitants, all those things he knows. And at the same time, he knows the importance of subjective as well as objective symptoms. He is knowing that the sleep, the disturbances of sleep also important. The dreams are also important. The mental state, alterations in the state of health at the mental level are also important. And because of which he will going to write it down all the features which he develops after taking the dose of medicine. And it becomes rather a very thorough proving when he proves medicine on himself rather than on the proofs. So that aspect he tried to explain in detail over there in the uh, aphorism number 141, 142. And one more thing which he has mentioned in 142 that you should not prove it on deceased human being. Even though you are a good physician, you are not able to differentiate what is what are the features which are developed after stimulating with the medicine or what are the features which are developed, which are original features of the disease. It is very difficult to investigate that thing. And that's why it is always better to prove the remedies on healthy human beings of both sexes of different ages with different potencies at different times. So these things are very essential things in the, in the proving. At the same time, he explains over there the importance of uh, medicines also. It depends upon what medicine you are using. Accordingly, you have to select the potency. So many pros and cons regarding the um, drug, drug proving he mentioned over there. And then he turns to explain few more things about the drug proving in the last concluding aphorism. We'll start with the 143 aphorism. If we have thus tested on the healthy individual a considerable number of simple medicines and carefully and faithfully registered all the disease elements and symptoms they are capable of developing as artificial disease producers. Then only have we tr true materia medica, a collection of real, pure, reliable modes of action of simple medicinal substances, a volume of a book of a nature, wherein is recorded a considerable array of the peculiar changes of the health and symptoms, a certain to belong to each of the powerful medicines, as they were revealed to the attention of the observer, in which the likeness of the homeopathic disease elements of many natural diseases to be hereafter cured by them are present, which in a world contain artificial morbid states that furnish for the similar natural morbid states, the only true homeopathy, that is to say, specific therapeutic instrument for effecting their certain and permanent cure. See what he is explaining over here. He is explaining the importance of proving. Once you prove it on healthy human being of different ages, of both sexes, you get the ample data. Whatever the future, the, those provers will going to give you that is collected, that is called as the data from the prover. That data is there after analyzed. So whatever, how many provers are there? For example, if there are 10 provers, then you collect the, the whole data from the provers. Then you have to analyze what is common in them, what is the things which is which happens to be there more strikingly in each and every prover, which are the things which are rare or explained by only one or two provers. 
what is the theme, where is the site of action, all those things you have to analyze. You have to find it out what is common in them and what is uncommon in them. And in this way, when you collect all those data, analyze it, then it, you are starting to develop the, your own material medium. Then your material medica gets enriched. That material medica, which is the true picture after proving it on healthy human being. You are damn sure about the medicinal action because, because it has been proved on healthy human being. And that's why you are able to grab all those things which will be useful for you in future if the similar type of patient comes to you. So we have ample remedies in our Matramedica. We have Belladonna, we have Bryonia, we have Econite. There are more than 3,000 remedies. Every remedy is proved in such a manner. And those provings which are done fully by the old provers, we have a thorough Matramedica developed over there. Even after 200 years past to the animal, we have the same picture which we used to get in day-to-day -day practice. And we apply on the basis of law of similars the remedies to them. We used to apply them and we get the results. We apply the law of similars and in the right potency we select the remedy and we apply. And we get the cure in them. And this is possible only because, because the Homeopathic drug proving is a unique way and that aspect Hanuman have tried to explain in those right from aphorism number 105 to 145. How this proving should be, how it should be conducted, what are the qualities of prover, who, who is the best prover, how the idiosyncratic person is the best prover, how the homeopathic drugs if the physician himself takes, how it matters a lot. All things which are related with it, he has mentioned over there in detail. There is footnote to this paragraph, the footnote number 105. What he says in that footnote, let us see. Laterally, it has been the habit to entrust the proving of medicines to unknown person at a distance who were paid for their work and the information so obtained was printed. But by so doing, the work which is of all others the most important, which is to form the basis of the only true healing art, and which demands the greatest and moral greatest moral certainty and trustworthiness, seems to me, I regret to say, to become doubtful and uncertain in its results and to lose all the value. Here he explains one important question. During Hanumanian time, it was quite easy for him to prove the remedy on himself, his relatives, his friends. And provers were ready. Now there is no time for anyone. And there are provers who are ready who wants money against that. They are called to be paid provers. But what Hanuman says, such types of provers, you cannot depend so much. Because you you are, you are you cannot trust 100% with them, whether they will going to tell you the right things or wrong things. If they tell you anything wrong, whole thing becomes wrong. Your material medica becomes wrong. And the problem arises. So such a caution you have to take into consideration and that's why you have to select the prover. The prover who is really conscientious, who is really trustworthy, who really wants to do the proving, such types of provers are needed for proving the remedy. So this is one quality one should not forget and you should not just entertain the paid provers because he is ready to prove. It's not like that. What experiment we have to do is very useful forever for the suffering mankind. If anything wrong information you get during that proving, it will be a forever mistake. And that's why Hanuman made a caution over there that if you are doing homeopathic proving, your proving should be on proper provers the quality provers, the edition credit provers, or the provers 
which are either himself or friends or all, all of them. So this thing he tried to explain over there in that footnote. We'll turn towards 144. From such a materi medica, everything that is conjectural, conjectural means which is based upon the speculation, tarka or other. From such a materi medica, everything that is conjectural, all that is mere assertion or imaginary should be strictly excluded. So what he says, if you feel anything which is conjectural, you should not take it into materi medica. If you feel it is just an imaginary, you should not include it. Unless and until you get it again and again. Everything should be pure language of nature carefully. See what words he is using. Everything should be the pure language of nature. So after giving the medicine, how the person reacts? The way he reacts, natural words. The words should be written as it is. Do you know the importance of these words? If, if you open your Materia Medica, if you open the Kali Carbonicum, there is one sin sentence, back, back and legs gives out. This is the sentence which is given in Kali Carbonicum. Even same sentence is given in Aesculus also. What it means? It is These are the words which, which are used by the prover during proving. You used to use our patient used to use the same sentence when they comes to you. They talks in, if you if they are Marathi, they talks in Marathi, they talks in the sense, Dr. Kambar par kamat na gele, Dr. Pai par kamat na gele. This is the, this is the sentence which they, they used to tell you the same sentence. The back is absolutely not working. It is, it is absolutely gives out. So these are the sentences which are, which the provers mentions. This is the language with which the patient expresses. The very language is very important because then you can apply, select a remedy in the proper manner. You have to you understand the depth of it. And that's why he is explaining over there that everything should be the pure of the pure language of nature, carefully and honestly interrogated. Honest. Honest means honest. In a trustworthy manner. Honestly interrogated. Interrogated means to ask in detail. To ask in detail. So what he is explaining over there, when you are dealing with such types of rules, you have to ask for all, each and every detail what, the, what he is suffering from after taking the dose of the medicine for the proving. So, see, Hanuman expects a thorough proving. And if you get very clear-cut proving from the prover, then you enrich your Madhra Medica. So this is too important for everyone. So today we have learned only two aphorisms. One aphorism he has explained about the um, importance of proving, how it is useful for the enrichment of the Madhra Medica with the question, that you should in the footnote that you should not have a paid provers for the entertainment. And in 144, he explained over there whatever is of, you feel of imaginary that you should exclude. And second thing, whatever patient explains in the very nature, natural way, that is very important. Ask them in honestly and carefully interrogate with the prover so that you can get the thorough data from the prover. The only one aphorism along with footnote is still remaining of this drug proving session. That will conclude in tomorrow's session and will finish the second part of the organic medicine, which is related with the semi-practical part of organic medicine. So these are semi-practical and from Monday onwards, we're going to start with the actual practical part of organic medicine which is very, very interesting and essential. And everyone go through that. At that time, we'll be little bit very slow because we're going to learn each and every aphorism by heart with a practical value of it. So my suggestion, ask your friends to join every day 
at 6 o'clock so that they will acknowledge the practical part of the organ of medicine. At the same time, today is Thursday and there is a, again a feast at 9 o'clock in the Divine School of Omebadi. I am going to conduct a session. The topic is already declared, the importance of homeopathic management. And you are going to get a clear-cut idea what is exactly meant by the homeopathic management. This is very, very important topic because generally what we see in day-to-day -day practice is just a homeopathic treatment. There is a lot of difference between homeopathic management and homeopathic treatment. What exactly it is? I will going to show you with two important cases and importance of each and every subject in the field of homeopathy. How it is essential, why it is essential, what you have to think, how to utilize logic. All things are necessary in order to understand all those things. So be there at 9 o'clock sharp. Uh, I will be there at 9 o'clock and ask your every friend to join so that you can uh, clearly get the idea and many we have ample um, space over there so ask your friends to join it's not paid so anyone can join for two day sessions at nine o'clock are there any questions uh, sir huh? Uh, sir, upon Mala Mage Sangitlatki arsenic Kadipan silent death moon indicated ahead. Hmm. The serpents of some of the Tavis they are this well indicated as not the Ripon Nahit's day, sir. With caution, <laughs> human with caution, that is more important because uh, this happened. In fact, um, I have seen such types of death. Yes, it happens. It, it works. If a patient who is absolutely, you know, and people are awaiting for the death and patient is in agony and suffering and everything bad is there, all has happened. And if you give arsenic, you, you, you can find it out the person's breath, even if he is breathless, that becomes slow, gradually tapers and person goes into the state of death. That, that I have seen in three, four cases very specifically and I know it works in such a manner and that's why to, for if you are considering any magic or uh, like that um, you should use it with caution uh, you, the, the patient's relative's confidence should be there with you <laughs> that is more important then you can use because it should not you no one can though no one can or no one should blame the homeopathy. They should understand this what exactly you are doing. So that's why it is too important when you are using you should it should be used with caution. Okay. Any any other question? Any queries are there, we can discuss. Today, I don't see that Ali is there. He's, because Ali is definitely used to ask me questions every time. So he's not there in today's session. There is a few new, new people who have joined. Benazir is there. A warm welcome to you. Warm welcome to Enjon from Brazil. So uh, today evening you will with the same password and ID you can join for today's session, and it will be a different that it is not a regular homeopathic prescription. It is something which you will going to learn in today's session. Few of them, few of you might have heard it during the Gauran session, but this is something which I will going to elaborate more in today's session. So don't miss today's session. We'll have a good chat in at night, nine o'clock, and we'll continue with it. So thank you, and we'll meet at nine o'clock. Good evening.